one of the uh, things that we like to check during our concrete slab inspection, uh, we want to make sure that the plumbing rough inspection or the uh, rough end piping is under pressure. Uh, here we have a pressure gauge that's required to be installed. We can see that there's about 50 PSI here, which is the uh, required amount of pressure uh, per the code for the system to be under test. Uh, that means it's holding water. Uh, it's required to stay there for a minimum of 15 minutes. Uh, we like to see it done uh, 24 inches or 24 hours before we get here, so it gets pumped up, and we know that it holds for 24 hours. Uh, this is a uh, uh, toilet drain here. Uh, there's also a, a sticker on this side of the pipe for the termiticide treatment. Uh, that's just another uh, location where they where they'll put that sticker. So this verifies that. You can see the moisture underneath the vapor barrier uh, when you're walking around on these slabs. Uh, this also is a good indication that we have a uh, chemical spray on this soil. The particular location that we're in today is uh, on a sandy ridge and there's essentially no moisture anywhere else on this entire uh, site. This is a, uh, a, a, a fine uh, light brown sand. Uh, it hasn't rained in you know at least three weeks so there's zero moisture on any other soils that are around here. When we see the the uh, condensation and the droplets underneath this uh, visqueen uh, that's a good indication that that soil spray was uh, pretty adequate. So one of the other things that we're looking for during the uh, concrete slab inspection, uh, we want to make sure that the visqueen joints are taped and there's a minimum six inches of overlap. Uh, that's the requirement by the uh, codes and the drawings on site. Uh, here we can see that there's a definitive tape line here. Mm -hmm. We can see that there's a good uh, almost 12 inches of overlap between the underlying uh, vapor barrier. This is 6 mil visqueen. Uh, and it's all taped up. This is the uh, case for the refrigerant lines. Uh, this is where the air handler is going to be located. The uh, other end of this is on the opposite side of the house uh, over to our uh, right. Uh, that's about a 50 foot uh, length of run for the refrigerant lines. It would make more sense to uh, have that outdoor unit installed uh, on the opposite side of the house and that way we only have a refrigerant run of maybe 15 feet. So that's some things between production builders and custom builders. Uh, production builders don't think ahead to, uh, to make it um, uh, adequate or, or more effective or efficient for those systems. So a little more work. It's on this uh, wrong side of the house, in my opinion. That's not really a code issue. That's more of an efficiency issue. Um, but uh, otherwise, we just uh, look at the visqueen, look at the joints. Any of these penetrations for the plumbing, AC, uh, those all need to be taped up and sealed uh, for a moisture barrier. So this is the... Uh, one of the sections where the uh, plumbing rough in is installed. Uh, you can see that they tie the hot and cold waters together. Uh, this is simply done to pressurize the system. Uh, we have the prefabricated 90 degree bends uh, right here on this uh, pipe as it comes out of the wall. Again, it's marked out, it's taped, it's sealed up. These are literally going to be inside the concrete wall as this one will also be in that concrete wall. Uh, here they have a fitting which is going to be inside the masonry block. That may be a concern uh, instead of having the, uh, the prefabricated 90. Uh, plumbing is supposed to be secured at every change of direction so we have to make sure that when we come back that this uh, is probably an exterior hose bib uh, that it's actually secured to the wall and not inside of a hollow uh, concrete block. Okay, there's a little bit, maybe a concern about this uh, bend right here being right at the edges of the masonry cells. Uh, I think if this was probably a little bit lower, it'd be a little better, but they'll just have to deal with that uh, when they're doing the, uh, the block and finishing the concrete. But uh, 
we just want to make sure that this is secured once we come back and do our, our uh, frame inspection or our pre-drywall inspection.